Hello everyone, this is Dion Soul. I hope everyone is doing well. We're going to do a 50 mile flight here in uh, Neo Fly and do a drop zone, dropping a medic or a fire or whatever it is when when uh, Neo Fly gives me. But uh, so that's why we have the Neo Fly livery. We're in the uh, H135 and we're at 0.75 on our update for the aircraft, which dropped today here, the 13th of March of 2021. 20, uh, and uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get inside as I cough. As you can see when you get in the aircraft you see that some things are already on by default and so what I basically do is I just power cycle my uh, my honeycomb uh, flight yoke uh, switches to turn them all back so we can have our true uh, cold and dark start uh, that I like and of course all the switches and stuff are all off and so we are all good to go there and um, we are all set so now we're going to do a cold and dark start so we'll go ahead and turn the switch on for the uh, battery we'll go ahead and turn on the avionics go ahead and turn on the generator switch and every and the uh, bus 2 on here just so we have everything in the same state as what it is and you can tell right now we have some buttons that have been added here that i didn't notice before and uh, so we're going to go ahead and put in the, uh, the gpu the ground power unit in here It'd be kind of nice to have the ground power unit and maybe over time somebody will actually create a uh, and then add it to the aircraft over time like the GPU would come over here and then it would be plugged in or whatever or when you as soon as you hit that button then it would just pop up and that the GPU is connected just to add that immersion factor uh, not a big deal but that'd be kind of cool uh, the most notable thing is is that the uh, uh, is that uh, the uh, uh, Okay, there it is. So the generator switch does work. Okay, I, I did not know that just now. So the generator switch is off right now. Uh, can I turn them on individually if I leave it off? Yes, I can. Okay, good, good. So we can add that immersion factor there. Um, and then we'll just leave the avionics switch on. Um, so now, uh, what you can do is uh, I can go ahead and start engine number one. And... Uh, before you would have to hit control E so now you just hit the switch here and now you can you don't have to do control E anymore and you can hit uh, the switch to turn it on and just let it go through its cycle process and it should come on here in a second and there it goes and now it's green uh, do I see oil pressure is up fuel is fine fuel is going to change okay then we go ahead and turn on our generator number one and now you can see that our props are starting to spin and then we'll go ahead and hit generator or, i'm sorry hit engine number two and I'm back off. so that's great adding that emergency factor right there now you can see the oil pressure is going to start to climb over here the engine up here in just a second be good to go and there it is we'll go ahead and add our generator now when you're ready to fly you just hit the, the FADEC option and with the FADEC option see right now I am trying to control the aircraft with my already previously bound uh, SciTech uh, throttle quadrant and right now I have no control of the aircraft whatsoever. Um, I have my throttle and then my uh, propeller trim and my mixture propeller trim, sorry, my uh, propeller uh, lever and we you know what you normally do with a normal airplane. That's how I've been lined up to this point. Now with the FADEC, you don't have that anymore. Now it's just, you know, one lever to rule them all, which is my, now is gonna be my throttle lever. As soon as I hit that, it's automatically going to spool up the motor and everything up to max. And now it's going to go up. Now I am ready to fly, and then the fade deck is going to control everything. I'll go ahead and turn on all my lights, which I should have already had. My beacon light, my navigation light turned on. I'll go ahead and turn on my pedo. Heat right now is on right now. Uh, you have a switch for your cabin lights, and you have a switch for your... Uh, uh, panel lights. Uh, those will we'll check those out at night when I do a night flight. Um, there's still a little I, I, on my previous one. There's still a little bit of a bug uh, with this. When you go over to, and I'll purposely I'll purposely break it right now. But when you go over here to minimums and I put in 400, hit OK. Uh, new radio. 
just to verify, and it'll, it'll still uh, crap out on me and, and not and not initialize. I go ahead and go to GPS. That seems to work right now. This bug seems to be a hit and miss thing for me. Uh, where um, if I go over here to weather selection, that seems to work just fine. We'll go home map. That seems to be everything working there. Speed bugs. We're going to turn them all on just because we can. I mean, I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm, I'm trying to break it. That's what I'm trying to do. And where I break it at normally is where I'm trying to set the wind. Settings. And I can't seem to break it right now. So fine, make me a liar. <laughs> but it does break every now and then. So, but anyway, so either here or there, like I said, the uh, minimums is not acting is acting up right now. But I'm, okay, there, now I broke it. There we go. I knew if I work it hard enough, I could break it. So what I've done is is now uh, it'll go to PF. Yeah, now I can't get it out of it out of this screen. Now if I go back, I still go back to here. If I turn this on and off, doesn't matter. It's still broke. Now I broke it. There you go. I got what I wanted. Now it's broke. I still have this other side over here, so I'm fine. But that, I don't know. You can probably watch this video over again to see the chain of events that happened to cause it to break. But it broke. That's my uh, my uh, where I'm going. So we're fine there. That's fine. And we're going to set our now as far as setting your altimeter setting. I guess you can bind some keys to it. Uh, you just can't click on here and set it up. Uh, what I do is if the altimeter needs to change, I'll just put. Um, I just hit the B key on the keyboard and automatically set your altimeter setting. But anyway, so we're good to go there. We're set. And, uh, and just a quick little side note, you can pick it up over here at uh, flightsim.tu. I'll leave it in the description down below. I'll leave it to get the latest update and, and that sort of thing. And other than that, that's pretty much the size of it. So let's go ahead and do this flight here. It's been a talky-talky long enough here. So, we're going to go ahead and get into the flight itself. i got to select the mission. And then we're going to go make it happen. I'm stalling for a second here as I'm trying to set it up off camera. Okay, the sounds are still too loud, so I gotta go in here and I gotta knock the audio down uh, for the aircraft engine. I usually take it down to about 8% or so, make it really quiet, so then that way I can hear uh, Neo fly. Because Neo fly is it maxed out and. Uh, that's just the way it is, you know. Okay, so we are good to go there, and I just got to put in my payload at a hundred and ninety. Emergency! A big fire needs backup okay, so from the fire. firefighters. Two of them are on their way. Stand by. Okay. Itch my ear there. They're gonna load in here. We gotta cycle the. Uh, we are ready. Bring us to this damn fire. I'll bring you to this damn fire. Okay, fine. Let's go to this damn fire. <laughs> Transporter, all firemen on board. You can take off. Well, thank you. I can take off now. I'm allowed to take off now. So, FedEx already set. So, all I got to do is use... It's a one... Uh, Fly safe. And good luck with the landing. All right. I could talk to ATC, but uh, because this is a Neo Fly, and we'll just go. I'm not gonna play around. So it's just one, one, uh, one lever to rule them all. And we are off. So, once we get into the neighborhood, I'll catch you guys uh, on the other side. So, I will be right back.
Alrighty, we are back and I am trying to find uh, the spot to land right here. We're coming up to a hover. I was looking for the uh, the fire engine trucks and everything. They all should be, unless I missed them. Oh, there it is. I see it. There's the fire truck. down and land right here. Thank you. Transporter for Made it. You did it. Nice. Secure the plane with the parking brake. Fire command. We have landed. We are coming. And that concludes this. We have successfully made it here. So we can go ahead and just shut this down because they don't give you the option to be able to come back. So I'll just go ahead and turn off. Oh, I got to turn the switch off first. There we go. Then. There we go. And we are done. <laughs> in the vicinity of KMAG, wherever the heck KMAG is, but in my neighborhood somewhere. So very good. We were successful. Oops, wrong, wrong one. It's this one right here. So, we have made it, and everything is fine, and that was a pretty... You know, pretty good. That was a pretty good experience. Um, like I said, just the autopilot needs to work because, you know, in, in a situation like this, it's a long way of doing absolutely nothing. So it'd be nice to have the autopilot working or at least eventually I'm sure the developer um, uh, Hype Train Media is going to come out with a documentation on, on you know, what makes everything work and that sort of thing. So I'm sure we'll get that over time. But for now, hey, you know, it's it worked. It works just fine. Using NeoFly, it's working fine. Um, let's see, we made uh, $10,000 before expenses. And so, you know, financially wise, $10,000. And I took away insurance cost and air. Uh, the, see that landing fee? Because I landed in the middle of nowhere. I shouldn't have been charged any landing fees at all. But NeoFly's got it set up here so whatever so anyway just progressing right along and eventually i'll make enough money because i am uh seven hundred thousand dollars in the hole by getting this airplane or this aircraft out of the box uh for neofly because neofly is winning 111,000 100 uh, 1 million 1.1 million is what it costs to be able to get uh the helicopter uh in neofly so i did go in debt to be able to get it so it is what it is but anyway, so you guys take care and you have yourselves a great one. And I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, we'll load up something and we'll land and we'll go somewhere and we'll do something and that sort of thing on the next one. So anyway, you guys take care and I'll catch you guys next time. Later, guys. Bye.